What is going on, guys? It is your bro, uh, Apathy, back with a brand new video. And I haven't done one of these in a very long time. And it's actually been a couple months since I've done a video like this. Make sure to like the video if you enjoy, man. And I always appreciate you guys. But today, we're going to be running the M4. Well, we're going to be running multiple guns. But we're going to start off with the M4. And I... Oh. Beam you. What a Corvus. What a, what a Corvus. What a Corvus. And the M4 is the best AR right now. And it is the best pro gun at the moment with this new meta. It's just, it's kind of what happened, man. You know, you nerf for the MP5, some things will change. Like M4 being the best gun. Oh, I have nine bullets. It, can I make it count? I can exactly, because the M4 kills in two bullets. Now, I don't know if you guys follow uh, the meta at all with the competitive side of Call of Duty. Or I don't know if you've noticed, but the MP5 has has received a big nerf not too long ago m4 is being used by a lot of pro players and it is because it's so damn good man it has everything you need on an ar i am running a little bit of a faster m4 right now uh, i got a corvus stippled co compensator i got everything man this guy's calling me a poser he thinks i'm the fake app they will jokes on him <laughs> i got commando foregrip and no stock let me finish that up before people start raging it at me for not saying what I have. No. Oh, M4 just doing his job. I think I'm getting team shot by my teammate. I think. Maybe not. Maybe that was a silencer. Haha, <laughs> you didn't see me to that body. <laughs> and this gun is just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely incredible, man. In the competitive side of things, in a five player team, uh, a lot of teams have been running three M4s every map. And that just shows uh, how good the M4 actually is. As you see, Fur just absolutely shooting me up close. Um, right now, the M4 is just stat dominant where, you know, back in the other old meta, it was like three MP5s, you know, four MP5s, some maps. Now, you're seeing M4s everywhere, bro. It's just such a good gun. Everyone loves it. Everyone's running it. It's just a do-it-all gun. So, you gotta, you gotta run it, bro. Like, why not run a dominant best gun? Freaking number one pro player gun in the game. You know, it's just so good, bro. I know there's a guy down here and I don't have this on, so I'm probably dead. Now, there it is. I'm more of a submachine gun guy, but the facts are facts. You know, M4 is just... Yeah, you didn't know the windows there? You learn something new every day, baby. You gotta use the best gun in the game sometimes, right? You could obviously make some slight adjustments to this class, like add grenade or barrel, and uh, to make it more of a beamer class. Um, but this gun is just absolutely incredible. I missed that guy by a split second. You're not rotating to the hill? Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. You're not getting spawn trap. Oops. No, <laughs> almost at him. I am a submachine gun for my team, so I do use the MP5 a lot. Uh, I dabble with the M4 every now and then, but I really don't use this gun much. Uh, but when I do pick it up and I do run it every now and then, I get to really feel its power, man. It's just, like I said, it's so good with this new update. It's so good with this new meta. Um, I think it's gonna stay. Like, unless M4 somehow gets nerfed at the end of the game, I think this is gonna stay as the number one assault rifle. Look at me up on the fence. I don't give a damn. I'll challenge all you guys, bro. Pepsi bottle, Coca-Cola gloss. I don't give a damn. They all spawn the back, huh? Got me. Like, I'm a submachine gun player, and you might even see, still see me use this gun, like, out of nowhere. Damn, couldn't get the four-piece. Now, for the second gun on the list, without a doubt, gotta say it out loud, we got the MP5, man. This gun, obviously, has received the nerf. Uh, it's not the best gun right now, and obviously, it could use work, um, but... What the hell, teammate? What you watching? Some of you guys are big fans of the MP5, just like your boy, Apathy. Uh, absolutely love this gun. I've always loved this gun. Um, this is a new class I'm running now that we are not using 10mm. And you know, the no-stock 10mm, 10mm class actually has a ton of recoil. So this is a better class if you want to beam. Dude. Dude, I am such a fucking burger. <laughs> I don't know if you guys wanted to see some other guns being used, like another AR, another sub. But this MP5, what makes the MP5 so good, it's just so fast. You have so much mobility. You can easily maneuver around the map at a light, light speed. Now, 
gunfights that usually you run into people like that are very difficult to win and that's a that's the only problem with mp5 it's hard to lose gunfights well like versus an m4 or versus someone pre-aiming unless you absolutely gun them to bed which so this is the number two on the list the mp5 and i'm honestly happy and sad at the same time they're using mp5 still because i i don't want to keep using mp5 and mp5 just has so much finesse to it you know you can dabble you can swerve you can you can dribble the ball, take it to court. I don't know. You can do a lot of things. It still has good good beam ability. It's still a three bullet kill up close, which is very nice. I have three bullets. Okay, let me not actually shoot three bullets because then... I don't know. Hitting three bullets on exactly three bullets and the people somewhere far away. Very difficult too. Hey, they already got through? Damn, their whole team got through, man. It's all good. I'm fast as fudge, boy. My God. I don't know who my teammate just killed. What? What the? <laughs> what the fuck? What is all oh, one bullet again, bro? I'm beating people's asses with this thing, man. I'm beating people's asses, man. What the hell just happened, brother? Oh shit, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for, guys? So the main thing that MP5 lost um, was the ability to basically beam people at a lot of distance, like win almost any gunfight at almost any distance. Um, the MP5 can't really do that anymore. It just lost it because the 10mm gave it a lot of damage, especially from range. And now without the 10mm, it just doesn't do that anymore. And it, you can still beam people. You can still kill people from range, but it kind of isn't the same, you know? You guys gonna... Oh, we killed everybody. Well, they killed everybody. Let me correct myself. With this MP5 meta, you do rely a lot on M4s and positioning. Um, you can't just do whatever you want. Take dumb, dumb challenges. You know, it's like I said, bro. You lose that. You lose that super strong ability to beam pe like to kill people at almost any range, and basically you're allowed to take any challenge, like some overpowered sub, like a SOG, like a PPSH. Um, that part does suck without the 10mm and like the the buff the pre-patch 10mm where it was just so dominant now positioning is such a factor and i feel like that definitely increases the skill gap i don't know how, it, how i have 11 bullets left but i'm gonna spawn kill one and i'm gonna run out of ammo here there it is out of ammo so now i'm gonna run away smoked out i don't know there it is 64 bomb I'll take it, man. 64 bomb. Like I said, guys, drop that lie. We still got to do the third gun, too. Can't forget the third gun. The third best gun. This is going to be... This is my shock some of you guys. So we do got some Ramazlin Hardpoint over here. And I'm really hoping I can show you why the MP5 is so good before we go to the third gun. Guys, as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. I do appreciate all the love in my videos. You guys are honestly, truly amazing. And, you know, I can't say it enough. I, just, I do appreciate you guys. Look at that. Look at that aggression, bro. Look at that aggression with the MP5. Look at it. Guys, I'm kind of curious. Obviously, this is my top three list. And, you know, I'm pretty firm on this because I'm a pro player. I've obviously played against the best and played with the best. And, you know, I've seen the best guns being used. Um, I'm kind of curious what you guys think. My teammates are just going to bait me, but it's all good. Uh, do you think these are the top three best guns? Um, what do you think could be... What do you think is low-key underrated of a gun? I think I spawn killed my teammate. No, I didn't. Thank God. Uh, what do you guys think is like a very underrated gun that you could see, you know, beating one of these guns? Uh, you leave it in the comments below. I'm actually very curious what you guys have to say and what you guys think. All right, guys. I had enough fun with MP5 showing you why it's so fast, so mobile, and how aggressive you can be with that gun. Now, we're going on to... <laughs> you listen to this guy. We're going to the Ram 7, guys. Now, this is a very low-key, um, how do you say, underrated gun. Uh, this thing shreds. It's a beast, man. It's a freaking tank of a gun. Now, this gun does require you for you to have some good movement. Um, it kills very fast. Uh, it's not an AUG, my friend. It's a Ram 7. It kills insanely fast. Very, very fast. And in my opinion, and I'm pretty confident about this, this is the third best pro player gun. This gun shreds, man. If you're looking for a gun that kills very fast, you're looking at this bad boy here. Uh, time to kill is actually faster than the Ram 7 at, or than the M4 at most ranges. Uh, this thing is very, very strong, man. There has been pro players and amateur players actually using this gun. 
Uh, pro players haven't dabbled with it as much because they're really comfortable with the M4 MP5 meta. But there are a couple amateur players that have been using this gun and just absolutely um, destroying the comp with it. Um, I've been a big Ram 7 fan for a long time. I don't know if you guys know, like, have watched my videos in the past couple months. But before I took a break from YouTube, I made probably like two to three Ram 7 classes or like, videos, classes, whatever, just praising the gun. And it's because it's a beast, man. Like, you got to give credit where credit is due, right? It has a lot of pros about it. I mean, it's very fast. Time to kill, of course. Has good ADS speed. Good time to kill. Absolute shreds. Um, the one thing that sucks a little bit about it, it's not as mobile as like some other guns, like an M4 with no stock, an MP5. Uh, this is a gun that requires a little bit more skill to use in terms of positioning, uh, movement. If you know, if you have good movement, if you have good positioning, then you can absolutely destroy people. Like that guy, I felt like he didn't. He like stood a chance, but he really didn't stood a chance. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you guys saw how fast I killed him. Like. Oh my god i feel like i'm chasing ghosts over here no way they can't kill one guy front they can't kill one guy front well guys that was some short ram 7 gameplay but <laughs> that was just absolute dominance i mean it's not much to say but yeah guys those are my three top pro guns pro player guns right now in this current meta in this current league hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay man. make sure to drop that like make sure to smash that like button don't forget to get subscribed to the channel. Let's get into the classes real quick and show you guys what I was rocking on my classes before we end the video. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're going to start off with number one, the M4, the current best gun in the game. We got the Compensator, Commando, Corvus, Stippled, No Stock. Now, this is a very versatile class and a very, very versatile weapon. Um, obviously, like I said, and I mentioned earlier, I think this class is really good for the average AR player. If you're not the main AR player, if you're like the flex on your team, this is a very, very dominant class. If you want to be sort of the main AR or like on a map like Cave, uh, you could switch the Corvus to, to the, the Grenader, M16 Grenader. Uh, this thing will beam a little bit more. It will do a slightly more damage from range. So it is better on bigger maps like Cave. But if you're just like a flex, if you're just like an AR player trying to get mixy, trying to get into it, this is a very, very, very dominant class. Trust me, all the pro players use it. For my next class, I did make a YouTube video on this already, but we got the MP5. Now, this has been a class most pro players have been running. You got the muzzle brake, operator, simple, slide of hand, and collapsible. Instead of the 10mm, we're putting on that muzzle brake to control that horizontal recoil. Uh, this is a very dominant class. You have everything you want on it. The beams, uh, the, the mobility, the reload speed, the ADS time. The one thing it lacks a little bit, like I said now, especially with the nerf, is the damage. But overall, it's still very good especially if you position yourself well and those close range engagements i did mention this as well if you feel like it's ADS adsing a little too slow you can change the operator to commando this will have some insane ads time uh they both reduce horizontal recoil too which is pretty awesome so you're able to beam in a different way uh but this class is just so dominant right now and I i've been really loving it and for the last class the ram 7 i got apathy written all over this thing man because this is my gun absolutely love the ram 7 guys like i said i've made a couple of youtube videos on it in the past um this gun is just so fun shreds like i said we got the fss ranger commando stippled sleight of hand and the close quarter stock um this is the best pretty much attachments you can run especially at the competitive level because you need the gun to ads fast if you if it doesn't ads fast then it kind of hinders it because it's a slow gun so the mobility is already kind of slow you can have it adsing slow as well so Stippled in close quarters for that fast ADS time, sleight of hand because it takes nothing away and obviously you get to reload faster. You got commandoed because it doesn't take away any ADS time. It's a little bit movement speed, but it gives you some recoil control. And then the FSS Ranger. So these four, I feel like are permanent. You need these four. Uh, the barrel, this is really good for that extra damage. You can dabble with Eclipse if you want to have a little bit more movement speed. And it's a slightly faster barrel, but that's completely up to you guys. Whatever you decide to do. I have ran a fast uh, Ram 7 class, but in terms of like at the pro level, I don't think it's worth it. I would recommend running one of these two, but a lot of people have been running the Ranger. Yeah, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, man. Make sure to drop that like. Like I said, appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the support in the videos. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, just keep on, keep on, keep on grinding, baby. Keep on living.